We're going to talk about the client portal. This is the first thing that you want to set up when it comes to setting up your access to your courses, your memberships, your communities, subscriptions, payment information, and coming soon, documents, contracts, and even more. You want to set up the portal so that your customers have a place to go. It could be your club, your portal, anything you want to call it, your access, your course, whatever you want to call your portal. It's a client portal. So your customers can come in and access their courses, their membership courses, the communities, the affiliate manager documents, payments, and so much more. But before you see how awesome the client portal could be, I recommend setting up one right now. You can easily come in and edit this at any time that you'd like. We're going to go into sites and then we're gonna go into portal. It's going to land on your dashboard. Your dashboard is going to look like this. This is a protected online gateway for client interactions. Your clients have the ability to log in at any time to the client portal for accessing courses, communities, overseeing their affiliate payout and more. You're going to have a client portal URL. It's gonna look like this but we're gonna show you how to change this in the settings. You'll also see on the right side how many people would be invited, how many users are using the portal. And then down here, we've got magic links. When I click on generate, by just searching a specific contact and sending them an email. That means when they click on the link, they'll be able to go right in and access their portal. You can also invite clients to your portal by selecting invite, and selecting the contact from your contact list and sending an invite. Or if your customers forget their email, send a login. You can easily send them just by selecting send login email, selecting the contact and sending them an email. Now you'll also see once we get this set up, let me go ahead and click on this URL. This is the URL that's set up. So it looks like over here, I've got an image, a little logo, information about my portal, and you'll see where they would have their email, their password, and they can log in. If they forget their login, they can also log in with a secure code. They can click add their email, log in with a secure code, sends them an email of a code, they put in the code and they're in. If they're a new user, you can actually have them sign up by putting in their name, email, and password, and they can sign up to have access. If they already have a login, it would take them back to the login. If they forgot the password and you click forgot password, this is where they could put in their email and reset their password. And this is what it looks like without being branded or designed. So your client portal dashboard is right here. Now what we wanna do is we wanna cover the settings, how to set up your client portal. I showed you what the client portal looks like with just the uh, URL that's given to you on your account. But what we can do is easily change that. When you click the domain setup, you're going to see two domains. One is the domain that you would put that's just the generic domain. So you would put salon portal app.clientclub.net and you can easily copy that domain and share it. You can also add a custom domain. If you had a salon portal website, you could create a subdomain that might say portal or access.salonportal.com or whatever your .com URL would be. And then you would simply add the domain. Now with a custom domain, let's say we want to go ahead and add a custom domain and we put app app.salon and we select add domain. You can select continue and it will try to find that domain. If it's hosted through a Cloudflare or GoDaddy and you haven't connected your domain in the main domain, this is where you would select continue and it would go out and find the domain, find your provider, hit continue and add those records for you automatically. Or you can select add record manually and what you'll need to do is go into your domain settings and add these records. It would be a C name, your subdomain and the required value would be client portal dot and select verify records. Once you put this in your domain, then you would select verify records. You want to select verified records now because it hasn't been added to your domain. I like the fact that you can simply select add domain, click it. It's going to search and find and retrieve those DNS records. It's very easy to set up a custom domain. Once you have everything attached, click the button that says update domain and your domain is ready to go.
branding is great because this is how we change our branding on the site. So we've got our little display right here. You can give it a portal name. We can call this Salon Client Portal. We can give it a description, Salon Client Portal Access. You can also select the brand color. So we had blue, we could go to black. We could come down here, we could make it black. And then down here, we can add your favcon. The favcon is the little logo that shows up in the URL. You could post an image, post a logo. So right here, it's gonna show you the aspect ratio. So this is one by one, a portal image one by one, and a logo image one by one. So you can just click on this, go find some kind of fun little image here and add your image right here. And it would tell you that the image ratio is not right. Now over here, you can see it says max 16 by 16, 720 by 720, 200 by 200. So if you're using Canva or another design, you can easily go into Canva and select these custom ratios and put in your own design. You can put in email support. So let's just put support at mybusinesswebsite.com and then at salon training. And there we have it. There's also an advanced setting where when you select the advanced setting, you can add any custom JavaScript, custom CSS, and any tracking code for your header and footer as well. I'm going to go ahead and hit save settings. Let's go ahead and go back to my dashboard. Let's click on my URL and look what happened. I have now turned it into black branding. And if I had the background image, that would go here. If I had my logo image, that would go there. And you can see right here, it says your tools. On the left side, it shows copyright salon training. And it also shows the email address right here that they can email for support if they have any issues. Setting up a client portal is really important because you want to make sure that you have a great branded page so that your customers get the look and feel of your brand. There's one more settings in your portal account and that is your app permissions when you select app permissions this is where you're going to be able to select what you want your users to have access to when they log in do you want them to have the communities the courses affiliate access to billing and subscriptions and I'm sure there's going to be more features added. All you need to do is make sure that these are checked. If you uncheck it, let's say you decide you don't want to have a community. You just want to have them be able to access their courses, their affiliate program or subscription. You would just uncheck that. And the same thing goes if you don't have courses, but you do have a community, an affiliate, and a billing. You can enable any of these apps. Remember, communities will go over in communities. Courses is in membership courses. Affiliates is in your affiliate manager. And billing and subscriptions would be to be able to see what they've purchased or any subscriptions that they may have. You can also select a default landing page. So when they log in, will it go to the home portal page or would you like it to go to the communities, the courses, or the affiliates? You can select whatever landing page you want to have for your portal and then select save. Let's go ahead and go back to the dashboard, select the client portal URL you have connected, and let's show you how easy it is for them to log in and create an account. I'm going to go ahead and sign up myself as a new user. It's going to ask me to verify. Once it's verified, I am now in as a user. Here's my user information. So once they're logged in, they are officially inside of the portal. Let's talk about this one next. And now we are inside the portal. So we've got the discussion, which would be as soon as you set up your community, you'll also see learning. If you have any courses, you would have those under learning. People would be in the community. Over here to the far right, you're going to see these little nine dots. This is where you can toggle between the assets that are available. When you set up communities, you'll be able to see the community looking like this. When you set up courses, you'll be able to see courses from the My Library that pull from all courses or my courses. You'll be able to select your affiliate program. When you see the affiliate program, you'll see the dashboard, sub affiliates, leads, customers, commissions, and media. You'll be able to access all of this here. Soon we'll see documents, contracts, and hopefully a lot more things. Keep an eye out up here as we add more features to the client portal. You'll be able to see them inside the nine dots and easily access them. When they click on edit profile, it takes them to the profile. Click edit account. It takes them to the edit account and they can always log out. Let's go ahead and do edit profile, which takes us to the account settings. 
So here I can actually add a picture of myself as a user. I can change my name. I can put in a description. I can enter my location, my time zone, and I can save. So I can have a user profile set up. There's other account settings in here. For example, my account where I can see my email and change my password, my social media where I can put my phone number, email, show them publicly or hide them, my social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, LinkedIn profiles. This is where I would see any course certificates that would show up here. So if I completed a course, got a certificate, this is where you would see it. And we also have billing and subscriptions available. Once you put in your authentication code, you'll be able to jump back in, check out your billing and view your billing. This is just an extra added security to authenticate your account before you start to see billing and be able to change credit cards and view your invoices and all that important financial information. So you'll definitely want to authenticate this first and then you'll be able to go in and see any of your billing or subscriptions. These things are important because when you have a profile set up, if you start to have a community, let's say a community of all the people taking a specific course or the community of affiliates or just a community where you have all of your customers, certain paid customers in a specific community. This is great in helping them actually have a profile. We're used to profiles from using things like Facebook and LinkedIn when it comes to groups and communities. So creating a profile for the user is good because it really helps them add their picture, add their information, and share their company information and their profile. Great for networking and other kind of things that you may use the portal for. If you're creating courses for your customers, this is a great place for them to come in and access those courses. If you're selling courses, this is a great place to come in and create and sell those courses. I see a lot more things coming and happening to this here in the near future, but that's going to get you in, inside, and set up. So you've created your login portal, you've set up your settings for your domain setup, and your branding, which again, you can always come back in and change this. This is your main portal that you can set up. After you set up your portal, it doesn't really do anything if you don't have anything in it. So we wanna start adding or creating communities, courses, and affiliates to be able to have something for your customers to come in and access. Having a community is great because you can set up a community for specific customers who buy specific products. Depending on what they're purchasing with you, what programs they're on, what products they're using, Using or what services that you're providing. Having a community for people to be able to access new information, get the latest and greatest is important. And it's a great way to have your customers create and set up their own account with you with a client portal. When you come into marketing, you'll see the affiliate manager right here inside of marketing. So be sure to take the affiliate manager if you're looking at getting referrals or growing an affiliate program within your business. The other thing that you're going to want to do is go into memberships. This is where we're going to house all of our courses and our communities to be able to really have an impactful client portal for your customers to be able to access you, access certain courses, or just communities, groups, and making sure that they're up to date in all the information that you want to provide to your customers within your business. Again, the best way to get to sites is to go into sites, go to client portal, when you go into client portal, this is where you'll have your dashboard. You'll see that you've got users signed up for your dashboard. You've got a magic link you can generate. You can invite a customer or a client to the portal or you can send in login details. Settings is where you'll set up your domain. You can come in and edit that brand name. And that's how you set up your client portal. Keep an eye out for more videos coming soon. Until then, go set this up because you're going to want this when it comes to memberships and communities and affiliate training. One of the great features about having a client portal is the ability to manage your contacts, whether it's contacts or students. You want to be able to add and remove them from things like courses or even communities. When you look under contacts, you would select a contact. And when you scroll all the way down, you're going to see client portal. Underneath client portal, you'll see course offers, community groups, the ability to change their password, or even send them a direct reset link. And as this feature grows, you'll be able to see more and more client portal features here as well. If you want to grant access to a specific course, all you do is click on the course offers and it's going to bring you a drop down. 
Now, if you created an offer for one of your courses, you just select that. When you select the course, depending on your automations or the way you set it up, it would then let them know that they have access to their offering. So you'll definitely want to check out workflows and automations to make sure that you have your course offering set up. The very next one is the community group. When you created a community group like we did, and we'll show you this in community groups, we created a free hair club group and a paid. You can see that this group cannot be removed as the user is the owner of the group. So because I'm the admin, I can't delete these, but you'll be able to easily add. All you do is select if you want the contact to be in the free or the paid group. You can also change the password here as well. And when you click on the send password reset link, it will automatically email a password reset link to go in and reset their own password. And again, all you'll do is go into your contact setting, go into the specific contact that you're looking for and look for the client portal. Be sure to keep an eye out for new and amazing features coming when it comes to the client portal. Thank you.